I actually did an audition. Really? Amazingly, yeah. I was one of the few doctors who didn't have to audition. Um, I'd, I'd worked with the producer. Uh, he wasn't a producer then on, on All Creatures Great and Small. Yeah. He, le- uh, he was a production unit manager, and he left to go and produce Doctor Who. And um, when, I, when we finished the first few series of uh, All Creatures Great and Small, I was just sitting at home one night, and he rang me up and said, how would you feel about being the next Doctor? <laughs> and what did you say? Uh, I, I went, ah, uh, can I think about it? <laughs> Uh, do you do you have a particular favourite uh, nemesis? Is the Daleks yours, or have you got another one? Uh, the, uh, the the Cybermen. I was always particularly fond of the Cybermen, and also mm. the Master, of course. The Master is, is a great uh, 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 enemy to have because he's he's very like the Doctor. He is a yeah. renegade Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey, uh, uh, and in a way that 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 story has been continued in the most yes. interesting way. Can you give us a word picture of mm. what we're in for to go and see a show like this? Because the staging is. Not unlike a, a very big musical. There's a lot of work involved. <clears throat> well, it's, yeah, it, it, there is a lot of work involved. It's essentially, though, uh, a, a symphonic concert. I mean, the, the orchestra is on stage and the, yeah. the choir is on stage and the conductor's there uh, in, in the centre. Yeah. And in the, back of, in the background, there are clips of, of, of yes. Do- Doctor Who. Yeah. And it's the music uh, uh, of Murray Gold, who's written the music for Doctor Who since it returned. Um, so that's the, that's the, that's the mm. primary bit. But uh, yeah. uh, uh, the accessories, if you like, are the... As you mentioned, the, the Daleks and the Cybermen. Has this been a lot of fun doing? <clears throat> it's fantastic. It's it's a. It, it, I'm particularly fond of uh, uh, orchestral music, and uh, um, I did music at school. Mm. And I remember somewhat reluctantly being dragged along to uh, uh, concerts at the Royal Festival Hall, mm. and realizing how amazing it was to hear a, a full symphony orchestra play mm. music. You don't. Mm. Not, that's not something that uh, uh, most people today actually go to. Uh, and so, to, to the added attraction of Doctor Who to get people to see that kind of show is fantastic. It's an enormous. Uh, it's it's a great genre, science fiction. Yeah. Really, it's it's like the new westerns. Really, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you can do almost anything you want. The imagination mm. is limitless, which is yeah. why I think it's it's attracted so many people, mm. <clears throat> so mm. many fans, a lot of whom have gone into the business and indeed are now running the the program. So, is, is this the best job you've had? <clears throat> Well, it's the longest running job. I mean, I've enjoyed a great many of the roles I've played, uh, yeah. uh, but this I've become increasingly f- fond of the, the program because I've never l- lost my association with it. I grew up play, pretending to be Doctor Who, you know, really? in, in the street. You know, yeah. you have to you play these games, and yeah. then suddenly here I am playing it. So yeah. I always liken playing the part to yeah. uh, 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 living out those those fantasies. Really. Okay, Genevieve sent an email. She says, "Just for my information, my son would know this because he watches the series." Really Religiously. What makes Doctor Who so special? That's a good point. In a way, he's a very... I've always thought of him as a very uh, British superhero as opposed to an American superhero. Yeah, yeah. So I think that appeals to yeah. Australian audiences. Uh, he's... he's uh, I mean, there is violence in the program, but he's a sure. non-violent character. Yeah. He doesn't carry around no. uh, uh, weaponry apart from his... Well, it's something screwed up, it's not a weapon. Yeah. Uh, um, but... Um, so I think it's something... It's something that appeals to us about that kind of good character, and yet, mm. uh, yet he's a sort of superhero. Mm. I'm probably not the most ardent follower, but I love the concept, and the Daleks have always fascinated me because they make perfect public <laughs> servants and treat you the same way. So, it's easy. so I wish you well whilst you're here. You'll Thank have a you great time. Much. I think South Australians love the concept. I know the bookings are good, so if you want to see this show, Entertainment Centre, 24th of Jan. And when you get back to the UK, what are you going to do? What happens then? You put all the scenes and scenery away? And... Uh, yeah, the scenery gets shipped back. We've got uh, a week uh, uh, of uh, the end of May. We're doing a tour around the UK uh, uh, of the same show. Mm. Um, I'm going also doing a musical back in, in London. So What a great uh, difference to yeah. go from that to that. <clears throat> it's going to be a very big difference, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I, can I thank you for coming in? It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And thank you. Uh, thank you for your contribution to entertainment. Thank you very much indeed. Nice to meet you. Peter Davison, the number five Doctor Who on 5AA.